Welcome guys, this is part three of our overhaul 12.7, uh, one of my trucks that we took apart of the auto frame. What, are, what did you find? The, you uh, wanna share the amazing condition of the block? Show, show. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have really bad uh, liner block fittings right here. What uh, you gotta go to. Yeah, let's see, let me see. Yeah. So, uh, this is, there's JBL right here. Yeah, this one? Right. Let me see, uh, the mystery there. There you go, you can see that. Over here somewhere, a couple of them got uh, JBL as well. So, yeah, I see, see, there's not a one It's a here. common issue with the 12 points, uh, Detroit in general. They always have pains, corrosion right there. Was well, that this, one, this one is, to be honest, is probably the worst one I've seen. Yeah? Yeah. I was gonna ask you, is that an acceptable fix with so many uh, JB Weld patches on pretty much every cylinder? Yeah, and it was uh, definitely not. It's not acceptable. That's one of the reasons why the liner O-rings uh, failed. Um, also, the counterboards were done and they need to be done again. Now we have to find a machine shop that hopefully can repair this block for us. If not, we're gonna have to hunt hunt down a for block, a block yeah. yeah which is not going to be not easy not going to be easy and not going to be fun that's for sure yeah uh the, the 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 biggest problem is this is seven almost seven hundred thousand yeah. i guess it's not it's, it's not a lot no, i don't think it's a lot mileage. so and from what i know this is that's a glider kit obviously and it's it's uh there is no tag so i mean even if there was a tag we wouldn't you know talk yeah. shit about the guys that rebuild it yeah but also it's what's interesting is um, why would they let something out yeah like this the world this quality exactly well there you know you know there's um there was a big big demand for them and they were just well yeah and it's hard hard to find the blocks for uh 12.7 i remember it was happening in the early 2000 like 11th 12th 13th when i was hunting for some of them already there was a shortage of blocks okay so uh, now imagine now. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that was the reason they did that, or just being sloppy or um, not really caring about whoever, the quality. Whoever did the work. But you know what I'm gonna do? Since we do have now a proof of that, like we know how the overhaul was done, I really want to figure out who did that. Who did it? Yeah. And not like just to know who who's just putting out because that's those we have at least four trucks from them and um, I want to know that because you can you see know. right here on the block there's still some paint like it's not the, the original Detroit paint it's yeah yeah who was using that paint do you know I know I know <laughs> <laughs> the whole block is painted like that yeah so but and also we got to send out the crank to get uh, polished as well yeah well, um, we are not working on it right now. We have a couple other, um, we yeah, have an the overhaul, ISX the, 12, 12 point, uh, the ISX overhaul. Uh, and then a couple, one, one differential went out and then we had a spindle repair this morning. Yeah. You just, you just finished that cat engine on that straight oh, yeah, truck. Yeah. It was a 3126, so I did an injectors on that one. Yeah. It was a hard to start in the morning, so replace all the O-rings. And I replaced one of the injectors. Now it's running smoothly. Yeah. So uh, and as the transport is a uh, slow right now, I decided to take take our time with uh, rebuilding this. We ordered uh, the overhaul kit, but it's we're we're taking our time focusing on other projects. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Um, we'll do an update once we find a block or hopefully we find somebody that yeah can well, the block yeah we should definitely um look into that so awesome thank you guys for watching subscribe share talk to you soon